this week on the Unpopular Opinion Show. Oh my God. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Oh, that's, that's a horrible. I'm glad he survived that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I want to have jokes for this. <laughs> okay. I don't really think I have any. I'm just, I'm, my mind is blown by that. Okay. Well, okay. Well, we'll, we'll stay on that white. Um, Bobby Brown was recently on Mike Tyson's <laughs> podcast <laughs> and made the admission or, you know, uh, uh, well, not even admission. He told a story about when he was a kid and that his, you know, his mom used to be a, a dealer. She used to sell Coke. When I was and younger, he had a very mom- unfortunate accident with it. And uh, I just want to share. When I was younger, my mother used to deal. She used to um, keep the Coke in the freezer in a plastic bag. And I thought it was flour. Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know it was, mm-hmm. you know. So you got that bird all I, I got it, yeah, I got it up. all floured up. And How old were you? I was about nine. Oh, shit cooking for the right. family, you know. I was, you the only one at eight, huh? I was the only one at eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was dead to rush me to the hospital. <laughs> no shit, Bobby. Was it uh, good was before it hit, though? Did the chicken the taste good? Like, do you remember? The chicken, like, was, the chicken was bomb. Bomb. It had to be bomb. bomb. The shit was melting in your mouth. It was just, it was just <laughs> too much. They came in the house, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> when I was... There you go. Big shout out to Bobby Brown for that, man. But why is it that Mike Tyson immediately was like, yeah, the chicken had to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it was better than cocaine. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Oh, that's, that's a horrible. I'm glad he survived that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I want to have jokes for this. <laughs> okay. I don't really think I have any. I'm just, I'm, my mind is blown by that. His mind was blown by yeah, it also. Yeah. <laughs> Several times over. Um, so, I, so I wonder when he, I, so I wonder if he, you know, has, a, feels a certain way when um, fried chicken comes out the, <laughs> sees fried chicken. Does, does his mind go back to, does he eat fried chicken now? Or does he traumatized? You know Still looking for that feeling. Yeah. Or st- still addicted to fried chicken. Now he's, he, I think he's been on a health kick. Uh, so I don't know if he's still, <laughs> if he's doing fried stuff or anything, but wow. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, we joke or whatever, but shout out to Bob, man. Like that dude, he has lived through some stuff, man. He yes. has lived through some stuff yeah. and he's still out here kicking, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know what? On a similar story, I once battered chicken and soap powder. Wait, what? <laughs> so, okay. Back in Atlanta, um, I was clubbing, you know, doing my, do, you know, I was out in the clubs DJing or whatever, and I would come home late. And it was one night I, I was hungry and wanted to, I was gonna make myself something to eat out, you know. And um, so I, I go and I wander myself into the kitchen and there's this canister where the flour is. is. I get the flour, I get the chicken, I batter, boom, 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 stove. And then I don't know how I figured that it was, it felt the texture of it felt weird and I smelled it and it was soap powder and I had to throw the chicken away. Um, the kid's mom had put soap powder in the place where Flour usually goes. <laughs> it was on the counter. And I found it and almost cooked the chicken in soap powder. Are you sure that wasn't a plot to take you out, bro? I, well, we are no longer together. So, yeah, I, I maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, was, I was I, I was more pissed off that I didn't I wasn't able to eat. <laughs> <laughs> then I probably should have been pissed off about the soap powder being in what was you know you know the place where uh, 
uh, uh, uh, flowers. Now, my wife has peeked her head in from behind the camera. Why are you disturbing my story? She heard baby heard mama. Before? She was like, what is your baby mama? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll hear it when the podcast goes up. Close my door. Thank you. Thank you.